Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is another cello tutorial for you. Uh, I'm here in, um, well, actually snowy, believe it or not, it's May, uh, Alberta, Canada from the COVID lockdown. And uh, we're going to play the second part of the Mandalorian theme, uh, which is really fun. I've got my first video up already. Actually, it's been up for a while with the first chunk of the Mandalorian theme. And uh, it's taken me a while to get this second one up. I do apologize. I had a few people ask for it. Um, we moved. This is a new house. It's a new studio. Uh, we got a puppy. We've just been busy and it took me a while to kind of get myself in gear to do another video. So here we go. Uh, as always, if you like the video, you know, it's YouTube. Like, thumbs up, subscribe, the whole thing. Um, you know how it works. All right, here we go. We left off uh, with, uh, with that climb up the neck. <laughs> Great spot, okay? Now at this point, I'm pretty sure that's where the last video left off. At this point, um, we basically go back and repeat the entire last section. I'm not really gonna get into it. If you saw the first video, you already did it. That's... C, second finger on the A string. Now from here, we go to the next section. Okay, we drop back a half step. Boom, so that C note that we were on becomes B, and my first finger becomes a nice B flat, and that's actually what I want. Okay, so I'm on B flat, I'm in what we call half position on the A string, and I'm gonna play first finger B flat. <laughs> Add my third finger nice and open. And now my pinky, if you can't reach, let go with your first finger here so that you can reach, okay? And now we play four, three, slur, four, three, slur, four, shift, up a whole step. Now my second finger right in position. First finger. And we have to shift forward for B flat on the D string, okay? That's a little bit tricky, but the way to find that B flat on the D string is if, if you have stickers on your cello for your finger positions, your first finger on the D string should be where your fourth finger normally goes. Boom, first finger, except we're playing pinky. Okay, let me play that phrase for you. Next phrase, hopefully you're still with me. Next phrase goes. All right, so let's talk about that. We're on this B flat, D string, pinky, third position. Meaning first finger's on G, third finger's on A, and pinky's on B flat. Okay, I'm gonna play my gallop pick, my gallop picking, that's guitar, my gallop strumming idea where I go one and a two and a three and a. Two, four. Here on my pinky, I shift a tiny little half step. And I don't mind if we can hear that shift, I think it sounds good. Now we have basically F sharp and F. We're gonna come all the way back to first position on the D string and play three, two. All right, hopefully you're with me. Now, next phrase. This gets us all the way up to this great uh, uh, final section. Okay, 
What I did there, our previous section we ended F sharp to F or G flat to F. 3 2 in first position. Now, on that second finger, I want that same B flat we just were playing with our pinky, but this time, bam, I'm going all the way up on that second finger to fourth position. That is where our thumb runs out a road and our second finger is pretty much right over um Right, second finger is a little bit past the thumb, okay? And that should be a B flat, okay? And we're gonna play a little bit of our gallop picking again. But this time, the two fast notes are first and the long note second. Reach back a little bit with that first finger. It's just a little bit of an extension. Second finger stays where it is. We go first finger, second, pinky. Then, second finger, pinky. Shift back to D on the A string, where your fourth finger normally would go. But now first finger. On that first finger, shift back to C. Third finger now plays D. Go up on third finger to E. It's a whole step. First finger's now on D. Play E again. And now we're here. This is where we've gotten to. Okay, midway point check in here. Let me play what we've got so far. B flat on the A string. here pinky is on F okay we are in third position first fingers on D third fingers on E pinkies on F here we are we're out at the tip of the bow and we play four three one three circle come back to the frog on the A string first finger still on D finger one three Four, shift up a whole step to G, and we're going to slur four, two. New bow on two, and one. We stay at the frog, okay? We come back a whole step with the first finger. It's on E now, we're coming back to D. One, three, four. Slur, three to one and a new bow on one, lift, circle back to the frog, come back to C, it's another whole step, one, three, one, and again to that B flat on the D string with the pinky, meaning first fingers on G, I'm going to slur, four to two, first finger G, Second finger A flat. All right, hopefully this is all good. We've ended up here. We are in third position. First finger is where the pinky would normally go. We're going to step directly back over to the A string. That puts me back on, on an F with my pinky. Okay, it should sound like this. All right, and this time I'm at the frog already and I play four, three, one, three. One, three, four. Shift up to G on the pinky. Slur four to two. New bow on two. And then one. 
back to D. One, three, four, three, one, one. One, three, four. Slur three to one. New bow on one. Circle. Back to C. And I have separate bows. C, D. Now the epic scale. I have C, D, shift up on one all the way to fourth, posi fourth position, sorry, which is E, second finger F, pinky, which is G, third finger, I'm going to plant it and I'm going to slide it a half step past my pinky. Which puts my second finger on G. Two, three, four. Epic note. Okay, I'm gonna play that whole last section. I should have played it first. I get confused. Okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. Where am I? Yes, on my F, I have. Hopefully this is all making sense. Now we want to jump back and start playing the lower part that's underneath of us. I jump to third position on the C string. My fourth finger is normally F. I want my first finger there. And then I put my pinky down. Nice open hand. That gives me an A flat. And I'm going to play fourth finger for two beats. First finger on F. Now I'm gonna play the F again. I'm gonna dig in, bite a little bit with the bow and roll back to the G string. Two, three, four. One, three, four on the C string. Roll, two, three, and. I'm gonna do this four times. One more. finish off. Here I am. I'm on this C note on the G string. I'm going to bar. I'm going to flatten my finger back across the G string and the D string where the fourth finger normally goes in first position. But boom. Those are my two notes. Okay. This is a bit tricky. We're going to flatten the end of that finger out, get nice and high with the elbow. And I'm going to play. The notes are going to be on the D string, go to the G, add my pinky to the G string, back to first finger on the G string. But I'm going to do it as a slur. I'm going to go down bow. Again, up bow. It's a little bit trickier. Nice and soft. We do that eight times into the end, okay? If you want it to be nice and soft, you can actually roll the bow, uh, the stick, a little bit uphill. Get some of the hair off. As we get to the end where it really starts to fade out, you can go to the tip of the bow. And then we're done. All right. Cool. Um, hopefully this was helpful. Well, I really hope it was helpful. Otherwise, it was a big waste of time. Uh, I hope you liked the video. I hope uh, uh, you enjoyed spending time with me. Uh, I really appreciate you all uh, coming to the channel. And, um, and, uh, and I enjoy sharing uh, my little bit of knowledge and a little bit of wisdom about uh, playing the cello with you. And I hope to see you back here again. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.